Undine's meaty, scaly fish donger. Say it, coward! No! I did. So... Undine's meaty, scaly So I just fish continue? Donger. So I just hit continue? Yep, you hit continue, and you start walking back to Snowden. Okay. We have to walk to Snowden? Well, you can't, you can't just, you can't get out of the core quickly. So the fastest way to go through it is use the elevators, have internet latency issues, and then walk out of the core. Do you want me to restart the stream? It has nothing to do with you, it has to do with your internet. Okay, fine. I offered. Note that audience, no. I offered. Well, I need to head off now. Alright, numbskull. Bye, numbskull. You have a good sleepy time. Your name is spelled wrong. Your name is spelled wrong. <laughs> oh no, like you gotta get an Uber. No, dead. What? Hey, what did he say? Oh no, like you gotta get an Uber to, <laughs> to Snowden. Can we get an Uber to Snowden? <laughs> like, an Uber! Taxi I know, service! I'm only teasing. Horse! I'm not, actually not, I'm not actually gonna get offensive because you don't have a vegan numbskull. My bloody Minecraft name was spelled wrong. I spelled brownie wrong, okay? Yeah. We still hold it over him for once in a while whenever we're bored in Minecraft. And I never hear the end of it. Sans? No! That's not an Uber, that's a lift! <laughs> what now? Ring. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Click. Hey, it's your boy, Skinny Penis. <sighs> I'll take a skinny penis over a micro penis any day. At least I'm getting some fun out of it. I know. This is Cat's life now, having to use squeaky noises to block. To, Cat to is set. dying inside. Cat's been dead inside for a few thousand years, okay? We've been friends that long? Wow. <laughs> I always knew I was an omnipotent god. Mm. But unforgiving god. But an omnipotent one, nonetheless. There's the Uber. <laughs> See? That's not an Uber. Sure it is. It's a water taxi. I mean, technically, it's better than Uber because you don't have to pay for it. The water's very wet today, Tom. Now eat Ooh. a potato. Now eat a chip. Well, as long as the water's uh, the water is wet today, I might as well go take a swim. Aqua Uber. Now it's legs. Floor is made of floor. Oh boy. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much stuff. <laughs> you still have all your you got all your healing items back. Can I put the snowbin pace away now? Um, you could, because I think you're just gonna lose the item that you're holding. Yo, what if the ferryman stood up, right? And he had really long legs with fishnets and stilettos. I understand what fishnets are, but I'm assuming stilettos are like a fancy shoe. They're very high, high heel. Oh, they're like platform shoes? No. Huh? Hmm. Stilettos are basically a high heel with a very thin heel, with a very thin heel bit. Fun fact: hmm. they are named after a dagger, which is known to be long and thin. No, not as a yeah, stiletto. Those sound like you could totally make knives out of stripper heels. Okay, now I know what you're talking. No, no, those are clear platforms, buddy. I'm just reading the chat. Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so uh, I'll t tell you. Hotland I sucks. I don't want to. I don't have want to have to go over there. So I here you go. I turned my face. I turned my mouth into an upside down McDonald's logo to prevent myself from me copyrighting. Friends, 
Yeah, sure, Undyne. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the they best. Should've, they should have did like a uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door moment where you keep trying to read it and eventually Undyne just appears out of nowhere and just kills you. That's a little too much to code. Have you seen what this game does? I don't think it's beyond Toby's power. Toby has power? I Ignis is saying read it. I'm not reading it. I res oh, it's, the, it's the dog Uber. I thought it was a cat. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. I'm on a motherfucking dog. It's it's a cat, Tom. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a dog. It looks like a cat. Uber. Come again sometime, tra la la. One day I'll meet you, and you're going to be a tiny goat and. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter Toby, under. Toby's entire shtick is dogs, so yeah, it's probably a dog. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. You blow a slide whistle and Alpha says shut the fuck up and leaves. Game over. <whistles> shut uh, the fuck up! Uh, oh no, it's another letter? I, I don't want to open it. I, I, I can't just slide it back out? No, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Dot, dot, dot. Um, dot, dot, dot. It's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. It's duct tape. Was that her, her screechy? Hey, uh, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't Shame's signed, off. so I had no idea who could have. Oh Undying my god. would be the one to be able to... Ch uh, to uh, seal an envelope with a chainsaw and have it still be together. Oh my god, oh no, that's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let, I don't want to bone you, Alphys. Undyne does. Let's go on a date. What? No! What? Not dating Sim again! No, well, I already- I thought, you, I thought you liked Alphys. I do! Not that way! Dating <laughs> stopped. Uh, sorry, still getting dressed. I do love that dress on her, though. <laughs> How it's do I look? Because really Alphys is- Tom, 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 grabs your face. Alphys is like me. I don't want to date myself, okay? I just don't like Alphys. Does that mean you don't like me? Squishes your face. You look ravishing. Squishes your face. Squishes your face. Alphys. My friend helped me pick out this dress. She got a great sense of, um... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, wait! Actually, we, we still can't start the date yet! Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That will increase the chance of successful outcome to the date. Okay. Someone's been playing a little too much Honey Pop. I'm getting a weird flashback to the uh, boss of Super Paper Mario, the nerd that captures uh, right? Tippy. Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts for an anticipation like a date like this. There's no such thing as too much honey pop. And you're definitely right. There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of things to uh, appreciate in, about in it. honey pop. Yes, especially with the nude mods. Okay, Tom, push it to you. <laughs> Although I wish honey pop has honey pop two come out yet? Because there's supposed to be a sequel to that game, and I'm really curious about it. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also oh, yeah. bought some waterproof cream for your scales! Uh, apparently it has, but apparently it's a shell of its former self. It's pretty tame. Really? According I'm to Ignis, yeah. I'm not talking about, uh, the Honey Pop cam girl thing. I'm talking about actual Honey Pop 2. Welcome to things I'm gonna have to edit out because I know my sister's gonna be watching this video because it's Undertale related. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got a lot of squeaky toy to add. 
Wait, no, I'm not. I enjoy this. Uh, your... your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical sphere repair kit that I, um... Stole. Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Oh, Dating. no. Honey Pop is being made. Honey Pop 2, I mean. Oh, it's what? Being made. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, date. Behold! My dating! <laughs> uh, do you like anime? Again! Me dating! <laughs> I felt that in my soul. I felt that in my soul. God, all the speed dating I did at conventions. Where I would go, do you like anime? When it was basically an anime based convention. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that, but if your first question at a dating organization is, do you like anime? You, unless you specifically also like anime, that's you're why I not say it. have a good time. Well, the fun thing is that the convention, it's video games, anime, and comic book shit, right? Uh huh. And, like, so people go, so why do you come to the thing? And I just go, you know, da 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 they like, do you like, and, you know, we ask, do you like anime? And then we laugh because it's really funny when the guy is wearing a cosplay of an anime that you haven't watched yet. My girlfriend and I met with that question, okay? Who, you? Yeah, you? You totally can. I don't mind. I'm not saying it's always like that. It's just, I don't know. Awkward. Yeah, trust me, on the okay. All my girlfriends haven't liked anime, and maybe that was my problem. But then again, I don't really like anime that much either. Says the I, man. I w Look, I might. I I have a particular set of tastes, okay? He likes slice of life. I like the stuff that you call boring and garbage. <laughs> yes! I do call it boring and garbage. I am an and anime I, snob, apparently. And I, and I don't like a lot of the anime. It's a little too high intense for me because it, it becomes too hard to follow because it becomes not just about the characters anymore. It's become about how cool they can make their action set pieces. And, but that's just how I see anime. That's Sword Art Online he's describing. <laughs> Not and, any kind of shonen anime. Dragon Ball. Uh, uh, anything with giant robots in it. I, I just like my animes down to earth. Uh -huh. Also, Sweetness and Lightning is an adorable anime. You should watch it. Tom, you made me watch freaking Jewel Pet. I'm not the one suggesting it this time, okay? <laughs> anyway... Do you like? And yes, I made you watch Jewel, but I do not regret it. Yeah, sticky, sticky. Shut up. <laughs> so, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, uh, me too. Oh, who would have thought? Who me? <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. Where is a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Uh. So it's okay. <laughs> Sweetness and lightning is so cute. Oh my god. Are you talking about sweet... Okay, it was that Ignis. Ignis! Quit giving Tom anime ideas. Uh, even if they gave me ideas, I'd only watch... I'd watch it if I was curious enough to, and I'd watch it on my own time. And hopefully the series isn't too long. Here we are. Was it okay? No. Watch is... it, Tom. This I'll is... look at it and see if it's interesting. <laughs> I'm allowed to choose if I want to watch something or not. Tom, quit arguing with because my audience. You're going to make, because if you're going to make me watch something, I've got a show for you, too. Don't! He'll make you watch Joel Pet. Too much no. cuteness! Too much I have, cuteness. I have far worse animes up my sleeves. Too much cute. Too much cute. Too many high-pitched voices. Anyway. Joke's on you! This what? is... What's, what's the joke on me? Because I like hearing jokes. I watch Inuyasha. That's actually something I wanted to watch. It's good! It's really hard. It's, it's hard to get your hands on and watching an um, I'll tell you where I got my, got my hands on it, and we're gonna have to edit out this whole thing because we can't talk about illegal things. I hear a lot of good things about it. It's why I want. want yeah. It's why I wanted to look at it in the first place. Grab your face. But How do I'm you on, feel about young I'm teenage on. girls getting all swoony over a boy who's in love with another woman? Ooh, cool, sweet, hot lesbian. Act. No, the dude is in love with another woman. Oh, so it's a love triangle, so it sounds like all my other fucking first dates, and all the animes I've ever watched. <laughs> yeah! You know, all my animes are romance school of life stuff. You know the mess up- The whole up story is one guy has a harm of chicks, and he picks one specific girl, and maybe he bangs them, depending on the content. 
Yeah. You know what the messed up thing is? When you watch Inuyasha, like, on a daily or weekly basis, it's fine. But when you are freaking binge-watching that show, you get really annoyed at Kagome and Inuyasha and go, Just talk to each other! Just fucking talk! Kagome! Inuyasha! Spongebob! What the fuck? This... <laughs> Spongebob! Anyway, this is where Undyne co and I come all the time. We I'll find all sort of great stuff here. Heh. <laughs> she really, uh... Donkey! Oh, no. That's her over there. Hi, can I let her see me on a date with you? Why? Because, uh... Oh, no, here she comes! I know it's because of the palette you gotta use for this scenario, to, but it looks like that trash can's hollow. You're hollow. I know I am. Hey, there you are. I, uh... Realized if you delivered the thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Gonna give it. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <laughs> I can't give it to you, but I know someone who could. Have you at least seen her? Yes. So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. I kind of imagine like, a small puddle starts forming underneath her. Ew! Once she pissed herself. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? No shit. I uh, really like her. I mean, more than like I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured out, you know, it'd be fun to go on a cute kind of pretend date with you to make me you feel better. Well, well we were there. In, you were there in the quiz game. You know I know. You. It sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne. I hate your auto mod, cat. What auto mod? I don't know what that means either. But she's... apparently Ignis hates auto mod. I'm not auto modding. That's just my finger going really quickly. I can go really quickly with my fingers. I played a lot of freaking games that involve text stuff. Twitch auto mod. What's wrong with it? It censors me. Sad face. Uh, allow. She shat herself. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could see her shitting herself. I, I could see her pissing herself, but I. This is gonna be on a weird part of the internet now. Yeah, sorry, the auto mod is there because one time I got randomly spammed with some asshole saying the N-word over and over again. I can understand that. So you understand where the auto mod is on, Tom? I don't understand what an auto mod is. It's... I'll just nod my head and drink my Mountain Dew. Quit drinking Mountain Dew, Tom. It's bad for your kidney. Everything is bad for my kidney. She's strong and... She's so strong and confident and... Strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. A Sam fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. Better way to do it is block it from the stream. Twitch happy face. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. I'm she, sorry, I'm dying. She's close to me. She'll she'll find out the truth about me. Dot dot dot. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. Or truth where neither of us are happy? Yes. No. They say be yourself, but I don't really Too like bad. who myself is. Too I'd rather bad. just be whatever people like me. <laughs> You'll never be happy that way. No, you're right. Every oh, day I'm scared. Scared what peop what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? Role playing. I, I don't have the confidence. Or I'm going to pants. mess it up. How can I practice? Uh, obviously, let's role play. Role role play. It's the only thing that someone like her would know. More dorky stuff. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. 
Depending on which you choose will depend on how silly this dialogue is. I went, I'll be Undyne. Okay. Oh, alright, obviously. What, are, you, are you commenting on how I think that roleplaying is dumb? Because I don't actually think that. I'm fine. Ha ha ha. Glad to hear. It's part of the character. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk about something. Then she kisses you! You should have picked your cute. What? Undyne would never, I, uh... I kissed her back so softly. I looked gently into her eyes. I start hollering, Undyne, I love you! Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. What did you just say? Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Boots. Wait a second. Are you Undyne, two... Your cute too. On a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but... I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. Well, then... What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I was you! I've been lying to you. What about what? About, well, everything! I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. I just really like to use it for ice cream. And those who have been history books are reading are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. Her nervous smile as she looks at the camera. And that, just, I've seen before I'm so good all the time. Alphys, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I really think you're neat. Okay? Alphys. Pet the dinosaur. <laughs> Please and pet- And then throw her in the trash. Can I have a strong, beautiful, muscular woman hug me and pet me, please, and tell me I'm beautiful and amazing? Take me out to dinner first. Tom, I said strong, beautiful, muscular woman. I can be anything you want me to be. <laughs> no. Eh? Leap. Ten points. Alphys! I think you're need to, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you Just said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what you what it is you care about it a hundred percent at maximum power so you don't have to lie to me I don't want to have to lie to anyone anymore Alphys I know, I know another thing that's powered to 100 percent that's also a little analytical I want to help you become happy with who you are and I know the training you need just to do that Undyne you you're gonna train me <sighs> what me <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. By the way, this particular song, Spear of Justice, was kind of influenced by the Spanish flamenco music. Now, Spanish flamenco, get those bones shaken! It's time That's to jog 100 laps. A lot of blubber. Time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are so real, right? Anime's real, right? I'm dying. I'm glad that's what you took from that whole conversation. Anime is real. <laughs> I knew it. The speed! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! The music speed has me wheezing. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things let, seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. It should be easy. You could just bench press like seven children. Where the hell am I? You're in the dumpster again. I hate being in the dumpster. It's weird because there's not even any trash on this screen except for over... Should we just start for now? Stop for now? Or how long? How much little... How much more well, do I have? Well, now you have the, the, uh, 
you have the Alpha Zone. Right. That's, that's what I'm calling it. Alright, how long will uh, that be? That's a mini tier dungeon in itself, and it has several boss fights in it. And then after that, it forces you to uh, the capital again. So, looks like you are down in the dumps. Uh... <laughs> Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye! Uh, I gotta go take this stupid freaking boat again. Where's the boat, man? It's to the... It's south from the, the uh, shop. Hello, Boatman. I am here for your boat wares. Hello, I am Friend Dog. Hotland, please. Thank you. Boat wares. I would, but I'm a silent protagonist. Also, I'm afraid I might deafen everyone's ears if I open my mouth. I took singing lessons from Shiren. We can do this, audience. I was gonna be like, how far long? How far awake were you? I was awake for eternity. Boatman, why don't you sing with me? Frisk is probably mute and can't speak. Am I a joke to you? I'm at a sticky note! Oh, should I have read the sticky note? Eh, kinda. It basically just says go in here anyway. Warning! Warning! Evader losing power! M. Tether what? stability lost. Altitude dropping! Whee! Dropping it like Wait. it's hot! So why was Alphys masturbating in an elevator? She was pooping in the elevator. Even worse. And you're dead. No, I'm alive. Look. Alive. Look, I'm dancing. I'm frisky. I'm frisky! <laughs> That's a little creepy. I won't say that ever again for the child. Entry number one. But this I is think it. I'm a little bit more less held back than you were. So to call me a child is kind of... I was talking about Frisk, dummy. Uh-oh. This is the creepy one. And a new emote I've never seen before. It is... Hype! Oh. It's a rooster going hype. Oh, it's a rooster? I thought that was a Neopet. Punches the floor. Anyway, this is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will oh, create the power to free us all. It's uh, a phoenix. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. <sighs> I, we don't have that kind of... We don't have that level of fun. What? We don't? Yeah, you, you can't. It, the things that can evolve with him are... Are what? We're on, a, we're on a very... Tight? We're on the... Uh, I think we're on a level 38 to 40. Uh, we're, on, we're above the wrong number fun level. But we're below all the fun funs. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And the, unlike the previous souls uh, of humans, Alphys, we got the Alphys Pizza phone call. Fun level. The souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. Only if I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted from human souls. 
I believe this is what gives their souls their strength to persist. After all, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Ow. This is a this whole section here is what would have made would have what it wasn't. This would have made me like Alphys more if it wasn't post game. But the fact that you have to wait this long to get any kind of justification for it. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. I need to get through the rooms. Okay. Yep, so you have to fight four mini bosses. Um, why can't I go through this door? Because that doesn't have any power. You don't have any power. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They are still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if we inject determination into them? If their, souls if their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than all than we all thought. The, in general, the music in Undertale and Delta Root, good. Which reminds There's me of only a few minor tracks in the game that I don't like. Which reminds me, Tom, remember to send me the link to Delta Rune. You can get it on your Switch for free. Yeah, but I can't record it. Yeah, true. Things I don't aren't... actually have that. You need to get that from Vince. Things aren't going too well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? This doesn't scream creepy Silent Hill nurse at all. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You triggered a boss encounter. Uh, how do I fight this thing? Hi. Fucking Automod. Welcome to the Amalgamates. Come join the fun. Do you want to join the fun? No. I would join the fun. Look how happy they are. Join. Just a moment. But nobody came. You'll be with us shortly. This is creepy as fuck balls. It is, but this isn't even the one that actually got me. Got to me. Lorem in some docket. That's for freaking. Is it a thing? Yeah, Lorem in some docket is. If you had Adobe Illustrator and you wanted to do a text thing, Lorem in some docket would be like the thing written in there. So, what do I do now? Well, joining them didn't do anything. So, refusing? That's a shame. Ow. Ow. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Yeah, I like I said, I liked it too. I just wish it wasn't post game. Like I understand the concept of everything here, but it's just it, it felt like it came a little too late for me to have really made this perfect. Because until this sequence happens, I don't care much for Alphas. You can't make it train dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Where do I go now? The other direction. There's no other direction. Yes, there is. I read that. There was a locked door that's not locked anymore. Oh.
Oh, I'm still carrying one unicycle. Nothing is happening. I don't understand what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with a determination. I want this to work. Oh, Alfie. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Ew! It's an empty dog food bowl. Now why would there be a dog? That's not how you science, Alphys. Oh, hey, Ben. You just totally sleep in it. Hey, Tom. I already knew that. Look, totally give you your health back. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Sure. Now feel like trash. I always feel like trash, Tom. You can't not make me feel like trash. So what do I do, Tom? Oh, You scared the spoon. The spoon is back. What do I do? Just let the spoon be a spoon. Okay, I'm letting the spoon be a spoon. What is coming out of the spoon's body, Tom? Just, just let him be. Tom? He's not He's not gonna shove it up your butt. Tom, that looks you like- Don't worry, he's just gonna break your neck. Oh. Pat, Pat. He's a good spoon. That spoon looked like it was growing a dick. It does, doesn't it? it even as creepy as Toby can be, there's no way he would've put something like that in a game for everyone. Everyone that has fallen Maybe. down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing's wrong. I thought they were goners. Uh, do I go down there? Well, you can go to the north and you can go to the east. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Ascorse. Not clickbait. Gone wrong. Gone sexual. That's what I would name my chat. <laughs> my episode of. I called it all fa all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Happy face. I should do a Let's Play of Undertale just just to use that time. Entry number six. No, 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 no. Why is there a penis? Oh, look, another spoon. Let's go investigate the spoon. Oh, he's so happy to see you. There's a green key Look lying in the bathtub. You Aww. took it and put it in your keychain. That was not a spoon, Tom. So I'm guessing because I lied in bed, the spoon didn't kill me. No. The spoon in the bed is optional. So you made me go into that spoon bed for nothing? Not nothing. It's just a cute scene with a spoon. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except for when he asks... They want you to go left, and left harder. LEFT HARDER! With a lowercase L, but everything else is caps locked. Going to finish his body, but I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore, and then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Peace. Uh, I guess we're doing this fight first, then. Flowey! It's not Flowey. Doggy! My favorite abomination! Hey, boy! Wanna know why I love it so much? You can interact with it sooner. Back in? you shoot me? I'm an innocent girl! <laughs> Shooting backwards arrows at you. Pet. Lies. <laughs> Ow! Jerk! Bad puppy! Rocket dog, rocket dog. He's got smart AI rocket dog. You're not innocent if I know what you've written. Okay, so Doggy is now happy.
Uh, pet it? Oh, you're asking me? Um, yes, if you played and he wants to sleep, you should totally uh, <laughs> generate stage one happiness froth. What's stage one happiness froth? Yeah, it's before stage two happiness froth. And this is why I love this album, this abomination. The music? That and the kitty faces. <laughs> I mean, they're dogs. Endogeny. Oh, which reminds me, uh... Control... Item... Unicycle... Okay, so I've gone right. Now I have to go left. Alright. It Ignis will be right back. <sighs> yeah. So technically you're supposed to go right first because if you go to the left room first, you're in a you can't do anything in there. Uh oh. Hi. Lemon bread. Um, oh no. Lemon bread is the one amalgamate that I have a hard time with. What do I do? I honestly did everything. Because I freaked uh, out. Unhug! Welcome to my special hell! You let the lemon bread be. Hum! Lemon bread smells like lemon. Watch out for the candy corn and rinkas. It's really the biting phase that trips me up. Oh, speaking of... Could this be goodbye? <laughs> Always that tooth. Always that tooth. Thank you. If you take strike machine and active. It looks like a skull! It should look like something else. I know, a blaster, shut up. Mm. The families keep calling me to ask me when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to be contained samples of some kind. Entry number 20, Asgore left me five messages today, four about everyone being angry, one about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Only Thanks, Asgore. Only you, King Fluffy Bun. I think a refrigerator is jostling around. You yeah, know, I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. You should totally investigate that moving refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Then why is it jostling? It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Endogeny is Sans's pet dog. Aww. I mean... As it as much as it could be. It's so cold. Oh no. Laugh? It's this one. <sighs> Snowy. It's so cold. I'm not getting hit right now. Yeah, I think I think it's designed in a way that 
you can just post a link and then look at this dude. I don't, don't, no, I'm not clicking it. I'm too busy right now. It's funny, I swear. You can look at it, I'm busy. I spend all my time in the camera. There's a VHS player with a few tapes pocketed up. They seem to be labeled a specific order. Will you watch one? Sorry, wake up! What is that? It's dear. There. And why did you have that video camera? Shh, I want to get your reaction. Glory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Um, carrots, right? No, 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 no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. But that's not a. Edamame is a vegetable. Well, technically, it's a bean. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Hey, Tom, how do you feel about your favorite dog being you? <laughs> Wait, do you like Pomeranians? I forgot if you like Pomeranians, Tom. I, I am a husky person. Oh, uh, but Pomeranians are tiny and fluffy, too. Cucumber, because it's a penis fruit. Ho <sighs> oh, ho ho ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. He sounds. Well, yeah, I mean, she woke him up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Any husband would be, be like, come on, let's just go to sleep. Sweetie, bed. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, this perhaps it's too dark in here for a video to come out. That's fine, we wouldn't want spoilers. Okay, cat, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What, you're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Howdy, cat. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. So we accidentally put in buttercups instead? Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad we made mom really upset. We should have la I should have laughed at it laughed it off like you did. Um anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Are buttercups poisonous? Um I mean you're not really supposed to put buttercups in the pie. Or eat them. I don't know if they're actually poisonous. It could just be that he's allergic to buttercups, too? I don't like this idea, I wouldn't cat. honestly know. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I, I never doubt you, Cat. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll be free. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. I wonder why so many people don't want to understand silent protagonists. Cat? Can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Cat, you have to stay determined. You can't give Underwear. up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Psst, I believe Cat, that. please wake up. For some of them, at least. I don't like this plan anymore. I... No, I sta said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? That was all the tapes. Yep. 
the whole thing was his fault. Or her fault. It's fault. Their fault. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Under sheets? Yeah. So there must be a, a key under a sheet somewhere. Put it here. That poor spoon will never come back and take a bath. Finish a bath. Spoons need to be cleaned too. You need to clean your spoon. I always clean my spoon. Clean it harder. I don't want it to fall off. Clean it. So under sheets. Well, we only know one place where there are sheets. The bed sheets, right? Yeah. So one of these must be holding a key somewhere. We, we don't need to hang out with Spoon Friend anymore. There you go, you figured that out. You're a spoon. And I'm a fork. I stab. Only if I get to be the little spoon. No. I don't want to be the top. Have I done all the keys? Uh, no, there should be one more. Where is it? Somewhere. I mean, I have the key. I have the blue key. I just need to put it in the blue lock. Where's the blue lock? Hmm. Aha! Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls within when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just a human absorb another human sword. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh, look! Plants! Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds are just... The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. I'm sure these flowers mean nothing at all. Hmm? They totally have no relation. Oh, frick. Hello. Hi. Um, mystify. Do everything until it works. You just look mysterious. Kama recognizes it has more to learn. Ribbit, ribbit. Ah! Ah! What is this freaking Madoka magic of bullshit? Butterfly magic. Kala. This is hella creepy. Oh, this is the hella creepy bit! It, well, I'm just reading the chat. It's just weird because each of the monsters have try to give off a different, uh, a, a different emotion. One's sadness, one's just kind of a dog. Okay, it's a bunch of dogs, but still. It's a one bunch of, them, of dogs and some kitties! One of them's got murderous intent, and this one's just kind of more creepy. Don't hug the monster. It's really hard not to when it shoots its freaking head at me! Can leave the Reaper bird behind. One last door. Alright. Now let's just go find little Alfie. Well, we access the main elevator room now. What? Ooh. What? Oh, right, because, uh, the, the, sometimes the game doesn't realize to put it down. So it, when it loads the room, it loads it up. Sleep on it! Go sleep! 
I'm not sleeping on the creepy bed. This needs to be turned off. Okay, they all seem to be turned off. I need to fix, turn the muck on, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> pussy. Not pussy, just tired. And does not want to go into soft, comfortable bed right now. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. C. Fuck yeah. Oh, well, it's nice knowing you guys, Audi. Knowing you guys. How are you? See you next time on Cat's Channel. I'm gonna pet the cotton candy man. You cannot pet the cotton candy. Hey, <laughs> stop. High five. I got you guys food, okay? Sorry about that. They, they're so happy. They're kind of sassy when they don't get their feet feet on time, so they're hangry. Um. Anyway. The horn remote. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. As usual. This probably was just an inconvenience for you. But yeah, I appreciate it really was. that you came back up, came to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might, might come back. But that's because these guys, not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried that they would be too afraid to tell the truth. That might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. Not really. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my mm. research, I isolated a power I call determination. I need a drink. Can, can you share that drink with me, please? I injected it into a dying monster so their souls would at least would last after death. But experiments failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to ask any to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrible failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there'll be some times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there'll be times where I screw up again. Are you still talking? But I know, I know deep down are. that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Well, hey, did you know that the team that was playing today lost? Who would have thought? Come on. Are you, st are you still talking? Okay. No. It's time for everyone to go home. Hey, Alpha Sweatshirt. Oh, finally, she's gone. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, but I want to surprise him with... In the center of his garden, there is something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just as before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. Um, flowey happens. Toy Story. The flower's gone. 